Welcome back. Almost one year ago, I bought this Proxon milling combo consisting of a BFW 40 slash E spindle, a KT150 compound table, and of course the stand. That would be a BFB 2000 milling slash drilling stand. Car to the un unboxing video after I bought it here and link in the description. So after almost one year sitting in a corner and catching dust, it's high time that I clean the whole thing up and lubricate it and adjust it and basically get it to work. And in this video we'll start with the BFW40E spindle. Here it is, yeah, a bit dirty, greasy, nothing too bad, not really greasy, but a bit dirty. Uh, lots of dust here on the power supply. And I do know that, I know that where the guy told me that that collet here, the 3.2 millimeter collet, uh, that's broken. So if I ever <laughs> need a 2.3 millimeter collet, I need to buy a new one. Anyway, also missing here is uh, yeah some rod you can put through here to actually block the axle when you are changing the collets. Um, I need a replacement here. I guess it's three millimeters. A uh, three millimeter Allen key will fit in here, but I guess I buy some because Allen keys won't go completely through. I will buy some three millimeter rod and make something myself. Anyway, let's disconnect that thing here. And in case you're wondering, that is marked plus minus and uh, the connector here, the plug is a little bit asymmetric. So you can't really put it in the wrong way around and <laughs> convert <laughs> your spindle to a, a <laughs> counterclockwise spinning one. That's not possible. That was easy enough to clean. I just vacuumed it and then uh, wiped everything down with a little bit of alcohol. Absolutely no problems. Everything is smooth. There's a slight <laughs> problem with the collet here. The collet nut itself is perfect, but uh, yeah, we'll see in a second. Uh, but what I really want to check is the brushes because that's a brushed DC motor in here, 40 volts, 250 watts. And so I really want to make sure that the brushes are still okay. Why, why do you don't, not coming out here? You should be coming out easily. Hmm. Okay, this is really a little bit fiddly. It doesn't pop out all by itself. You have to, yeah, <laughs> correct it a little bit. And yeah, that brush is still fine long enough. Let's put it in the right way around again. So yeah, that's the axis of rotation. So the rounded part should go this way. And then we should be able to just push it back in again. Yeah, you, you might have, uh, it, it's kind, kind, kind of a snap in because you have these little latches here at the side. So it's a bit tricky. So that was one side. Or maybe there's a direction here too. So I'm turning it 90, 180 degrees. But it looks completely symmetrical to me. So I have no idea. Okay. And it's back in. 
to be honest, it just, yeah, it's absolutely symmetrical. So the first time that was just me, I guess. Let's screw that shut again and have a look at the other brush. Here it comes. No. Looks really good. Nothing broken off. Perfect. Maybe I managed to do this a little bit faster. Yes, I am. And yeah, that seems to be a little bit asymmetric stuff here, but <clears throat> okay. Now let's have a look at the more problematic part. And the problem has to do with the, yeah, the inner surfaces of the collet holder. I'm not sure if I can really show that, but yeah, it's a wee bit corroded. That's no good. Uh, this should be a little bit more shiny. I have to think what, um, how to best proceed there. Maybe, um, I mean, I cannot <clears throat> go in there with a file or something. Uh, uh, abrasive. Uh, maybe I can find a little brush or something to work in there with some petroleum or so. Yeah, we'll see. And by the way, that's one of three bearings in that thing. Uh, interestingly, <laughs> in the German part of the manual, it calls it a, uh, yeah, a uh, Kugellager, so a ball bearing, but the English translation is a roller bearing. And yeah, that's obviously not your standard skateboard bearing. It has an OD of uh, yeah, about just 25 millimeters. And I did mention there are three of that in there. So two at the bottom and another one at the top after the motor. <laughs> Back to the current issue. I do have a polishing disc, but it's obviously a little bit too big, so I have to cut it to size. I mounted the spindle in the stand again, uh, approximately 45 degrees downward, so I can work here easily uh, with my, uh, yeah, Proxon IBS-E at 5000 RPM, slowest settings, and yeah, with my, well, it's no longer a polishing disc, uh, but you know what I mean, so I can work in here and any debris I create will fall out and not inwards. And that's not working at all because there is not enough here pressure on my disc, yeah, to keep it spinning when it comes under load. Yeah. So I added a little nut here, which hopefully, yeah, <clears throat> exerts a little bit more pressure on my polishing disc. Now things will get a little bit messy because now I'm adding a little bit of polishing paste or, uh, yeah, fluid for stainless steel. Finally, I take a wipe and some acetone, uh, yeah, to clean everything, uh, which is still debris, which is still in there, out. Uh, I'm using acetone because it's obviously not water-based. <laughs> You don't want water in there uh, just after you removed, oops, a uh, bit much after you removed all the dirt. And you don't want anything that's in the end, uh, yeah, you know, a lubricant. Yeah, that's 
definitely better now. Not perfect, but much, much better. Uh, yeah, there's still some spots here, but yeah. Overall, I hope I polished off all the rusty high spots, okay? So, uh, yeah, uh, good enough. Let's say it's good enough. Looks much better than before. Next, we have the power supply, which shouldn't be any problem. Uh, yeah, it's just dirty, so nothing that a vacuum and uh, some alcohol with wipes should be able to handle. Uh, yeah, did I show you you cannot plug it in the wrong way? This is basically... Uh, basically facilitated by this plug uh, there's dirt behind there and the interesting thing is <clears throat> you can put it on the wrong way no not really looks funny if you put it on the wrong way or does it Yeah, kind of. Uh, yeah, I tried to remember what way that was on. Uh, give me a second. Okay, that looks much better, but... Uh, uh, because this is mainly an electronics channel, uh, let's have a peek inside that thing, huh? Shame on you, Proxon. <laughs> I do have some of these... Uh, yeah, uh, security bits here, like that one, uh, but I don't have that. Yeah, that was a bit disappointing, that security screw there, but uh, well, anyway, uh, my spindle is ready for usage, I guess, and... Oh, how quiet it is. I like it. Okay, let's give it a little bit more juice. Still, it's, it, it's very nice sound. Okay, uh, yeah, <clears throat> till next time <laughs> and yeah, there will be a card here when I finished uh, the next part of that milling setup uh, and a link in the description. Uh, till then, bye.